gente, como estaba diciendo, bienvenidos al canal de Ken Instit. In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away. And not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction, while defying the principles of natural selection. find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant, he can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. This valley seems without peril. Hmm. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit the knitting work is excellent. Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. What is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, Stuffy, move along. Up ahead. An intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing, for a woolen world stretched out before him, soft woolen, 
and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Lich paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life, it was made for knitting. With the right pattern, glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set stuffy right and found he would do so with delight. Now why would that be? By this new appearance, Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. Ya arreglaron la piernita y ya puede correr. También le cambiaron este. La ropita. Son botones para que estarán. Ahora puede meterse, me imagino que en la cueva, porque a lo mejor este glitch la alumbra. seek out so much here. Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Keep an eye out for Glitch. You'll think out loud when an action can be done. Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now?
Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now why would it do that? He had no clue. This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. <laughs> You'll see. Collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near. Siete o creo. Ay, yo no sé. Pero quiere decir que hay yo veintidós. No. Pues estoy esperando aquello. Mañana es el último día para eso, para esa mierda. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken, without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? to explore here.
Lots of big mountains here, aren't there? Exagera demasiado. No, no fue eso. Me iba a dar seis minutos. Just look at that combination of color. Oh. Como no le pedí jugo. Ya lo sabes. Esa habilidad del puño hay que sacarla en esa máquina de coser que, que va bien rápida, está brutal. Está demasiado rápido, no dejan de cambiar bien. Ya cuando uno está por un lado.
Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? <coughs> Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? <coughs> ah, a new shape could have <coughs> other abilities. That was pretty neat. This <coughs> new blueprint <coughs> contained <coughs> patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. <coughs> There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images and words making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory, although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy. He would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts, that was sure enough.
Just look at that combination of color. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows and the hidden wonders that therein lay, and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends, a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side and to be taken in tow. This valley seems without peril. Seeing the moon had changed glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the red mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway.
Ah, another shape for Stuffy was near. Yet, Glitch had to wonder <laughs> who had put all this machinery here. It did cost time, that much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. vibrant. Oh! 
Remembered. Explosions like a sounding horn. Something got ripped, something got torn. He had died on the spot and was birthed anew, but something had gotten greatly askew. The world was wrong. Gone was the song. What song? What was wrong? Oh, it made no sense. This valley was full of life, but to glitch, something felt, well, amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. As Glitch grudgingly admitted, a short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? At least the breeze is gentle in this valley. The big snake looked stuffy up and down and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither but apparently they do.
I just love the woolen patterns used here. The big snake looked stuffy up and down, and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither, but apparently they do. Lots of big mountains here, aren't there? It is a good start, but if you insist on going for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Back to the machine with you.
It is a good start, but if you insist on going for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Back to the machine with you. It is a good start, but if you insist on going for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Back to the machine with you. The snake nodded approvingly of Stuffy's fancy display, seemed happy and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road forward and... What was that? Glitch saw a metal spider. Fear tightened his wings. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. Bueno, mi gente, pues esto va a ser todo por ahora. Será entonces hasta la próxima. Gangistic out.